The thing that amazed me about this, whenever I started to look into it, was the numbers. The numbers of people that have ever scored a Golden World Cup final. There's only 58 people have ever scored a Golden World Cup final. And there's only 29 people alive in the world today. Lionel Messi hasn't done it. Franz Beckenbauer hasn't done it. Johan Cruyff hasn't done it. So how could I discover that and not be compelled to go and find him? But one of the most interesting things about the film for me is the narrative arc of uh, how the world has changed, the world cup has changed, the football has changed. And the first person we did was uh, Alcides Gizia, who scored in 1950. It's the biggest attendance there's ever been in a football match. It was 200,000 people in the Maracanã in Rio. And every single person there was a Brazil fan. So <laughs> when Gizia, who played for Uruguay, scored the winner, um, there was complete silence. And he said it slightly freaked him out, complete silence. The Uruguayan delegation were so sure they were gonna lose the match that they left town and went home the night before. So whenever Geisha and the rest of the team um, got back to their hotel, they went to look for the treasure um, to get some money to go out and celebrate winning the World Cup. And he had left town the night before, so their players realized they had no money. So they had a whip round amongst themselves and sent somebody out to buy beer and sandwiches and celebrated in one of the rooms because they didn't have enough money to go to a restaurant. And this is having won the World Cup. You could ask any of these guys what it's like to score a Golden World Cup final and they'll go, it's amazing. But we were much more interested in what they'd had for breakfast, the conversation they had, you know, the night before, the last thing. So, so that line of inquiry, it sort of, they were much more engaged then. And one of the things we asked them was about the music they listened to in the bus on the way to the stadium. In 1986, Argentina, who, who won the World Cup final, throughout the whole tournament, there was two songs they had to listen to on the bus. And one was Bonnie Tyler, I Need a Hero. And the other one was the theme music from Rocky. The hotel they stayed in the night before the match was so close to the stadium that they hadn't finished Bonnie Tyler when they got to the stadium. So they wouldn't get off the bus until they'd finished listening to Bonnie Tyler. I, I very much tried to hook the the, the, the sort of locations to the people that sort of made sense about, you know, their story. And Bon and Senya, who uh, scored the only goal for Italy in 1970, lived by this, he lived by this lake. We went out for dinner with him the night before we did the interview and the photograph, and he told us. He had not been selected to go to Italy, and he was out fishing with his mate, and he got the call from Mexico, and his wife came running down along this jetty and said, you've got the call, you've got to go to Mexico. And he, he, he basically quit for the summer, so he didn't believe her, so he just stayed out. Completely ignored and then came in about three hours later, and the next day he was on a plane in Mexico, and he scored a goal in the World Cup final.